What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching today, baby. Ooh, baby. Guys, somebody wants to say hi to you guys. <laughs> Izzy hasn't said hello to everybody, so. Hey, hello, everybody. Izzy, who is it? Who is that? Who is that? Say hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hope you're doing out there in the world today. <laughs> Uh, what's up guys? Just wanted to make a quick Suboxone taper update video. I've made a video for a couple weeks now, so I figured it was about time. And my last one was like a really long video, so I'll just make this one short and sweet. Um, so uh, for the last three weeks, I start, I was at three milligrams. So as of today, I'm stable on one milligram. So three weeks, I went from three milligrams to one milligram. That was my taper. Now, obviously, I didn't just go jump right from three milligrams to uh, one. So what I did and what really has been working for me, um, especially the last two weeks, is I'll do the alternating doses. I've talked about that before. And I know a lot of, like, Dr. Chris Park really recommends that as well. And that's because it really helps and it really works. So for example, like last week, I took two milligrams on Monday or the week before on the fourth. Then Tuesday, I took 1.5 and Wednesday, I took two again. Then Thursday, 1.5, then two, then 1.5. And then I'll use Sundays usually as my next kickdown dose. So last Sunday, I, I was my first day on one milligram. Um, that's the day where like I'm able to lay around and be a lazy ass. And just kind of watch football and it helps take my mind off of things so that's what I do on Sundays is I like to kick the dose down um, but I'll probably slow things down a bit from here just because I know from past my five million other taper videos that you guys have seen <laughs> um, I just know that from here going below one milligrams is when I start to get more of like the restless legs start kicking in and like insomnia issues and waking up really early in the morning when I usually sleep till like eight or so like I'll start waking up at like five or six in the morning and be uncomfortable that usually happens for me under one milligram so I'll probably slow things down like I said a bit from here and so last week my dose was uh, as I mentioned Sunday was one milligram um, Monday was 1.5 milligrams, then one, then I did a two, then 1.5, then one, then 1.5, and then, um, let's see, or today was 1.5, yesterday was one. So tomorrow will be my my steady dose of one uh, because I made it through last night okay after the tapering to the one milligram. So from here out, it's going to be one milligram or below, God willing. <laughs> Um, I really want to thank you guys for your continued support. Um, I did not realize how long this damn journey has been of mine, of just posting on YouTube. Um, I had seen a video of my an old one, the first Suboxone withdrawal abort, I think I called it video, withdrawal abort. That video was three years ago, guys. Oh, three years ago. I was living in Idaho, and that was my first time trying to jump off Suboxone. As you guys seen, I failed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been an interesting journey. Um, I am thankful that I have been clean off of painkillers or like taking opiates like that. I'm very thankful that Suboxone has afforded me at least that, okay? And uh and it's been, what, four or five years now since I've touched a painkiller. So at least there's that. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this journey is just drug on. I, it's like I get the years mixed up before you know it. Like you think that it's two years and it's been four years. So it just goes to show you how fast time flies by. I mean, life goes so fast as it is, let alone if you're, taking Suboxone or any other drug, you know, like it can just kind of blend the time and time flies by. And before you know it, <laughs> I've pretty much been on Suboxone for five years now. So that's a long time. Um, I really would like to get off. 
Um, however, I do know that getting off comes with its struggles and challenges. Um, but I am planning on continuing my taper. But like I said just a minute ago, I'm going to slow it down from here. And I recommend you guys talk to your doctor about your tapers. I know there's a lot of people tapering right now within the YouTube community. And uh, it's been really cool to kind of help support each other along the way. And um, yeah, that's probably about all I have from here. Uh, I'm thinking next week I'll probably just cruise on one milligram. Make sure I'm doing good because I, I do feel a bit more clear headed. And uh, I just thinking back over all of my years of Suboxone, I can think that about one milligram was a really good spot for me. Like emotionally, I'm not guilting myself. I'm not feeling foggy or anything like that. It's just such a small dose. At one milligram, that means one tablet is lasting me eight days. So <laughs> it's it's seems like such a tiny dose and it is especially because most people are you know averaging what 16 milligrams 24 milligrams a day so when you compare it to that and what the alternative could be you know taking 100 plus milligrams of painkillers every day it's a million times better of course but i still would like to progress from here so thank you guys for uh, joining my last live stream two sundays ago I am going to be doing another live stream soon, possibly tomorrow, Sunday. I will probably do it tomorrow. I'm trying to think what time because the Seahawks game is on tomorrow night. Oh, my poor Seahawks getting their butt kicked this year. <laughs> um, but if I do not do a live stream tomorrow, it would be Monday for sure. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so if you'd like to follow along from here. Um, if not, that's okay too. I want to thank you guys for the thumbs up that you've been giving me on my videos. It's been really nice to see a higher, a higher rate with the thumbs up. So thanks guys for watching. Thanks for following. Keep praying for me because praying has really been helping me every single day. So I'm going to continue with that. I mean, I'll use all the help I can get. So thank you guys for supporting me and uh, let's keep it going, guys. The new year's coming up. I'm not trying to say anything about that because that hasn't worked for me in the past, but um yeah, let's keep it working, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.